hello there very exciting video today i have just received my first ever subscription box and that is the moth box by mercedes from mercy's bookish musings i will link all information down below i'll link mercedes and the twitter for moth box so very excited and i've never done an unboxing before either so this is going to be interesting so i've had this on my side all day not being able to open it because i've been working been very sad but now i can finally get round to it and i can see already that there's going to be problems because i have no idea how to get into this box ah i think i have discovered so i don't normally buy subscription boxes purely because there's not many in the uk and also because i'm quite strict with myself i only allow myself to get books off my wish list but I thought I'd get this one because Mercedes is fantastic. I love her channel and have watched her for a very long time. And I also love the idea, basically, she puts in here two independent books that she picks out, which I want to know about more independent publishers. And I do want to start delving into two independently published books a little bit more because I think they kind of deal with more interesting subjects a lot of the time. They're not aimed at the masses, if you know what I mean, which is what I like. So opening it, it's got this lovely crepey paper and a moth box stamp. And it's got some information on the back, which I'm not going to read because I want to be surprised. And I don't know if it spoils anything, so we won't go into that. So they're beautifully wrapped with tissuey, crepey paper and string tied round them. And there's also a little bookmark in here, which I'm assuming has a quote from the book on the back. Again, I won't look at that yet because I don't know what the book is yet. And I want to... I want to experience it with you so bearing in mind I'm probably not going to know anything about this book so I probably will just end up reading the synopsis but that's okay that's okay that's you know that's what this is all about discovering new books me and you together you know it's fine I do love the wrapping on these beautiful so oh nice cover so this is this is by Amy S. S. Perseth that's quite a mouthful and it's called Sufficient Grace which is also a fantastic title and I'm loving the cover of this already it's really nicely published as well so on the back it says Ruth and her cousin Naomi live in rural Wisconsin part of an isolated religious community the girls lives are ruled by the rhythms of nature the harsh winters the hunting seasons the harvesting of crops and by their family's beliefs beneath the surface of this closed frozen world hidden dangers lurk so I'll leave it there. That sounds intriguing already. I like how atmospheric it sounds. So now I will read you the quote on the back of the bookmark, which says, Naked and plain, the trees stretch branches like antlers against the sky. So I'm looking forward to that one. It sounds like it's going to be really good, actually, because one thing that I struggle with in my own writing is sort of atmospheric description. Um, I kind of am lazy and just get bored with the description. But it sounds like it's going to be quite beautifully descriptive and suspenseful and atmospheric. So I'm looking forward to that one. And I might read that soon because it sounds like a kind of winter-esque read. And then we've got the second book which again, I'll, I'll read you out the bookmark at the end. And this one is The Handsworth Times by Sharon Duggle. And I'm liking the cover again with the red car there. And on the back it says, Makesh Agarwal sits alone in the Black Eagle pub, unaware that a riot is brewing or that Billy, his youngest son, is still out on the bike. A mile away at home in Church Street, Anila, one of the three Agarwal girls, is reading smash hits and listening to Radio 1 as she sprawls across the bottom bunk, oblivious to the monumental tragedy that is about to hit her family. In 90, it is 1981 and Hansworth is teetering on the brink of collapse. Factories are closing, unemployment is high, the National Front are marching and the neglected inner cities are ablaze as, as riots break out across Thatcher's fra fractured Britain. The Agarwals are facing their own nightmares, but family, pop music, protest, unexpected friendships and a community that refuses to disappear all contribute to easing their personal pain and that of Hansworth itself. Oh, this sounds interesting as well. And strangely enough, I have been wanting to read more sort of novels set in like sort of civil unrest and things like that since I read um, Life After Life a few weeks ago and really enjoyed its sections in that and sort of just the falling apart of the community and how people dealt with that so that's kind of going to be right up my street at the moment and I'll read you out the I'll read you out the quote as well it says they see a ball of flames moving towards them an orange silk lantern floating on air so again, very intriguing sounding. So I would definitely recommend this. It's such good quality for money and these both look fantastic. And I saw people reviewing the books from last month's box and they also looked fantastic. It is on a first come first serve basis and I did sadly miss out the first time. So if you want one of these, make sure you're on it. Follow the Twitter. That's the first place I think that Mercedes posts about the box being available. And then you can ensure that you get one. Bye.